Hi, I'm Matt Taylor. Welcome to the Antique Photons Observatory Report. Hi, I'm Matt Taylor and thanks for tuning in to the Antique Photons Observatory Report. In this episode I'm going to cover the Deep Sky Imager and the Envisage software and how your camera's name relates to dark frames you take with it. Here you can see the name of my camera on the live screen tab. It's DSi Pro 3-2 but I can change that anytime I want here on the control dialog by typing the new name into the camera name box at the bottom of the dialog. Then the next time I open the software the camera's name will be changed to whatever I've entered here. Giving the DSi a unique name in this box is one of the very first things you should do when you first start using the camera and software and really there should never be a reason to change it but if you do here's the trap that you need to be aware of. Let's take a one second dark frame, then open the dark frame folder and have a look at how Envisage names its darks. As you can see here, the dark frame we just took is named DSi Pro 3-2 with the exposure time and CCD temp appended to it. Okay, let's open the control panel again and rename the camera. I'm going to take off the dash 2 so now the camera's name is DSi Pro 3. Now I'm going to close and restart the software so the camera will be renamed. And as you can see here on the live image tab the camera has a new name. Now since the live screen is updating with one second exposures I'm going to just check the dark subtract box and as you can see this triggers the no dark frames found message because Envisage uses the camera's name as part of its dark frame naming and matching scheme. If you're using one of the version 1 DSi cameras darks are matched to your exposures by camera name and exposure time. If you're using the version 2 or version 3 cameras, your darks are matched to your exposures by camera name, exposure time, and CCD temp. So always remember that if you change your camera's name, any dark frames that you've taken with it will no longer be used by the software for auto dark subtraction. Thanks again for tuning in to the Antique Photons Observatory Report. To find more great tutorials and tips on using the DSi line of CCD cameras, please visit my website at www.mallentaylor.com.